Let's play chess. Let's beat emptiness. Oh, king of the heart, I dedicate my fight only to you. Oh, hi. Welcome back again to Balebila. I'm trying to recite a poem and it is very difficult. If you want to know a little bit about theory of poem, about poetry, keep watching. Poems. In this chapter, you are going to study about 1. Definition of poetry and poems 2. Social function of poems 3. Structure of a poem and 4. Figurative sentences in a poem Now we go to definition of poetry and poems Poetry or ilmu tentang puisi is a type of literature based on the interplay of words and rhythm. In poetry, words are strung together to form sounds, images, and ideas that might be too complex or abstract to describe directly. Poems or in bahasa means puisi are pieces of writing that take the nature of both speech and song, which are nearly always rhythmical, usually metaphorical, and show such formal elements like rhyme and stanza structure. Now we go to social function of poems. Why people write poems? And why you read poems? People or poems or poesy can help you say and help you show how you're feeling and introduce you to feelings, ways of being in the world. It is a unique language that combines words to convey meaning and communicate ideas, feelings, sounds, gestures, signs, and symbols. Okay, now we go to structure of a poem. Number one is line or baris. Baris in a poem. Line length shows the reader how it should be read. Short lines are usually read faster with more emotion. And number two is stanzas or bait. Yeah, in stanzas, the groups of lines, they are like paragraph in prose. Now look at this sample. This is a poem, the title is Chess. As you can see, line one, playing chess in the afternoon. Line two till the appearance of the moon till I see the dim light of a front house this is line 3 and till I see the silhouette of my future spouse this is line 4 yeah. so from all of the poem the whole poem there are 17 lines and stanza means a group of lines so there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five stanzas. Now we go to some figurative lines in poems or figurative sentences. Number one is rhymes. This is very popular. Rhymes are same sound at the end of lines. Like this. Playing chess 
in the afternoon till the appearance of the moon. So it they have same rhyme, noon and moon. Another sample is till I see the dim light of front house, till I see the silhouette of my future spouse. House and spouse have same rhyme. Number two, about some figurative lines in poems. That is metaphor. Metaphor is to compare one thing which is equal to another. Like this one. The snow is a white blanket. Yeah. And number three, simile. Simile means uh, to com comparison using the word like or as the surface of water is as smooth as glass her eyes are like diamonds and number four is personification this is when objects are given human characteristics the wind is whispering to my ear so the wind is like human who can whisper right okay for more samples of poems you can watch them on my other videos i have made videos about poems so you can watch them and learn the poems from them thank you for watching and see you Later. Bye-bye.